we have four categories of special uh, children or disabled children. We have mentally handicapped, hearing impaired, physically handicapped, and visually impaired. Uh, we have narrowed down to get their dates of clinic from their parents so that we remind them that our children don't miss clinic and they are healthy and we are going on well. Kwa sasa mikakati ambaye iko kwa kusaidia wanafunzi wa ambao wako na ulemavu kupata kwa access issues around sexual reproductive education hizo mikakati ni afifu sana tunahimiza ama tunahakikisha hawa watu wanaoishi na ulemavu watoto sana watoto ambao pengine kuzaliwa kwao kulikuwa na shaka ama wamepitia mambo kama ya unajisi na nini jambo la kwanza ni kupimwa wajue hali yao virusi vya ukimwi si neno geni kwa wingi wengi wakifahamu namne kujikinga dhidi ya virusi hivyo na hata njia bora ya kujilinda huhitaji kufuatilia kwa karibu kuhakikisha kwamba afya ya watoto pia ni sawa haswa kwa wale walio na matatizo ya kimaumbile na kwao ni vigumu kuelewa visababishi vya ugonjwa huo na namna watajilinda kufahamu kuhusu namna watoto wenye ulemavu wanavyofunzwa namna ya kujilinda dhidi ya ugonjwa ukimwi nafunga safari yangu kutebelea baadhi ya shule speciali kwenye kaunti ya Kakamega Kakamega ina jumla ya shule 27 ambazo ni speciali kushughulikia watoto wanaohitaji mahitaji speciali ili kupata elimu. Mfano, ikiwa ni Shaviga Special School eneo bunge la Ikolomani pamoja na Eregi Special School na Busilwa Special School, Koyonzo Special School, Baine ya Matungu pamoja na Daisy Special School inayopatikana Kakamega mjini. Safari yangu kufahamu namna watoto hawa wanafunzwa kujikinga dhidi ya virusi vya ukimwi inajiri huku kukiwa na hatari kubwa kwa watoto kuambukizwa kwa sababu jamii haijafahamu namna watoto hawa watalindwa. Ni mwendo wa saa 4 asubuhi. Ninapowasili shule ya Shaviga Special School iliyo eneo bunge la Kolomani County ya Kakamega. Shule hii ina wanafunzi wenye uwezo wa kuona pamoja na kusikia japo wana matatizo ya kiakili. Habari Habari Mnafanya nini? Mnaoch nini? Nini umejifunza after kuwatch TV leo? Eh? Hapa watoto hawa wanakunywa uji. Wakizidi kuburudika pia kwa kutazama televisheni. Unasikiza anga radio gani? Radio City za ni mwingine, radio nyingine? Radio nyingine? Eh eh. Milele. radio nyingine? Eh? Ye? Ingini ingini. Nani mwingine? Eh? Kulingana na maelezo yake mwalimu mkuu wa Shaviga Special School Damari Otieno, shule hii ina wanafunzi 130 japo walio kwenye matibabu ya virusi vya ukimwi wakiwa ni watoto wawili. Damari anasema wamejaribu kutumia somo la life skills kuelimisha watoto hawa kuhusu ngono na hata njia za kujikinga dhidi ya virusi vya ukimwi in life skills we teach learners how to handle themselves we teach them about even sex we teach them even on safe sex because of the uh, category of learners there are learners who have low ability and they can easily be cheated so it is the work of the teachers continuously to teach them repeatedly 
as a song so that they capture one or two on how to take care of themselves. Through this, we have not had so many of them or we have not had any who we have got with the, infected with HIV in the school. Uh, Shabiga Special School has two children who are HIV positive, but it is from birth. Uh, as a school, we are encouraging them uh, taking clinic. Their clinic is usually at Mukumu Hospital. Uh, we have narrowed down to get their dates of clinic from their parents so that we remind them that our children don't miss clinic and they are healthy and we are going on well. Ford Ambani, ambaye ni mwalimu wa somo la life skill, Ishavihiga Special School, PNI anaelezea zaidi. Kitu kama self awareness tunawafunza wajitambue, wajijue wawe na uwezo kujielewa kama ni wavulana wajue vile watajiweka wasichana pia tumewafunza jinsi ya kujipenda wasijidharau ili watu wasipate advantage alafu life skills imesaidia watu wetu kujua hata kuwa safe mashirika mbali mbali ya kijamii katika kaunti ya Kakamega yamekuwa mstari wa mbele kuwasaidia watoto wale mavu kujikinga dhidi ya virusi vya ukimwi Mfano, ikiwa ni Women Challenged to Challenge, United Disabled of Kenya na Kakamega County Widows Empowerment Project almarufu KCWEP. Fred Anami ni afisa wa mipangilio katika shirika la KCWEP. Tunahimiza ama tunahakikisha hawa watu wanaoishi na ulemavu watu sana watoto ambao pengine kuzaliwa kwao kulikuwa na shaka ama wamepitia mambo kama ya unajisi na nini jambo la kwanza ni kupimwa wajue hali yao so kitu muhimu kwanza ni kuwatayarisha kimawazo ya kwamba wakipimwa na wapatikane wako na ugonjwa wa ukimwi ama virusi vya vya HIV katika mwili yao haimaanishi ni mwisho wa maisha mbali inamaanisha tu ya kwamba wamejitambua hali yao na waweze kuchukua mikakati ya madhubi ya kuweza kuishi maisha yenye afya maisha mazuri kwa wale ambao hawana na pia wenye wanao tunaanza kuwaelimisha jinsi ya kuepuka eh, visa vya ngono ili wasipate madhara ya ujanga la ukimwi hawataingia katika tendo la ngono na pia waseme mapema wakinajisiwa wasikae na maneno kwa roho wasisiwa wakiogopa kusema kwa sababu wanaweza kosa kujua hali yao wasiposema Kulingana na mwenyekiti wa Disability Caucus County ya Kakamega BM Lucy Mulombi County ya Kakamega ina ulemavu 1025 kulingana na Bi Mulombi mipangilio ya kuwafunza watoto wale mavu kujiepusha kuambukizwa ugonjwa wa ukimwi ni hafifu kwa kukosa waelekezi. Napenda kusema kwa sasa mikakati ambayo iko kwa kusaidia wanafunzi wa ambao wako na ulemavu kupata ku access issues around sexual reproductive education hizo mikakati ni hafifu sana kwa sababu mara nyingi watoto wale mavu wanaachwa nje katika mipangilio ya, ya mambo na sex education jamii huona ya kwamba hawa watoto labda huenda hawahitaji hiyo information na saa zingine pia hiyo information iko katika uh, format ambazo haziko accessible to persons with disabilities kwa mfano sex education kwa children with deaf wanahitaji wawe na sign language interpreter na unapata labda kama wanapatiana hawana hiyo sign language interpreter pia wale ambao wako na changamoto za, za macho unapata labda wanapeana sex information kwa makaratasi wameandika labda vitabu na hivyo vitabu pia havijaandikwa katika braille kwa hivyo wanafunzi wengi wa, wa, ambao wako na ulemavu wanaachwa nje katika mikakati ya kuwapatia elimu B Molombi anasisitiza kwamba ipo haja kwa shule speciali za watoto wale mavu kushirikiana na mashirika ya kijamii ili watoto wale mavu waweze kusaidika 
Naam, mashirika ni, ni, ni mengi ambayo yalijitolea kwa sababu yalijua ya kwamba hapa kuna gap kubwa sana. Kwa mfano sisi kama Kakamega Disability Caucus, hiyo ndio kazi ambayo tunajaribu kushirikiana na mashirika kama Women Challenge to Challenge ili ni shirika ambalo linaweka wasichana na wa, 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 walemavu na wanawake walemavu pamoja kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata hiyo education pia tuko na United Disabled Party of Kenya UDPK United Disabled of Kenya ambao wanapia wanatupatia mafunzo under the program inaitwa Amplifying the Voices of Women and Girls with Disabilities wanapia tupatia hayo mafunzo ambayo tunaweza tukashare na wanafunzi watoto ambao wako na, na ulemavu wasichana hapo Uh, ujumbe wangu kwa hizo shule kwanza ningeomba serikali iweze kuzipatia upadhili wa hali wa juu alafu ningeomba hizo shule pia zianze kutafuta mashirika mbalimbali ambayo yanashughulika na masuala ya wanafunzi walemavu because through those partnership and collaboration the lives of, of, of children with disabilities can be improved this should not be just be an affair for the county government for the, or for the national government it should be a fair for the community everybody should get interested in uplifting the lives of children with disabilities because they are our children they live with us and for a very long time people have just imagined hiyo ni kazi ya ya walimu wa walemavu ama ya shule ya walemavu so they have really lacked behind in terms of access to information access to better health and other issues that surround issues of disability ni jambo ambalo limeungwa mkono na mwakilishi wa Lemavu eneo bunge la Navaholo kaunti ya Kakamega Bates Wechuli. Sikundi vya Lemavu kama kwa mfano Navaholo siku za sikundi 28 vya Lemavu na Navaholo. Eh sasa huko tunapanga mikakati na tunatembelea kwa kila sikundi kwa kila wofi na tunakutana na hizo vikundi vya Lemavu na tunaanza kueleza hii mambo ya kuhusu mambo ya HIV madhara yake ama tena ukipata HIV shughuli nyingi zitasimama ama tena utajitenga uta na wenzako kwa hivyo tena tunawacharibu kuelimisha kwe, wale mavu ni wazi kwamba jambo la kupunguza idadi ya watoto wale mavu wanaoambukizwa virusi vya ukimwi inaweza kudhibitiwa lakini kwa kufanikisha mafunzo shuleni kupitia kwa kuhamasisha jamii ifahamu umuhimu wa elimu ya ngono kwa watoto wale mavu ili kuzuia kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa ukimwi ni makala maalum kuhusu mafunzo ya ngono kwa watoto wale mavu kupunguza watoto wale mavu kuambukizwa ugonjwa wa ukimwi jina langu ni Kennedy Babangida